Okay, so in today's session, we will continue our discussion on the chapter on playing with numbers and today we will be discussing about the lowest common multiple, also called in short as the LCM. So basically what we have done earlier in our earlier lectures is that we have learned how do we find the common multiples for a set of numbers and uh, just to recollect common multiples are the multiples which occur for a set of numbers which are common to a set of numbers. Now we learn how to find the lowest of the common multiples for a set of numbers. But before we do that let me just try to define the meaning of LCM. You can call it as a formal meaning for the LCM. So one way of defining LCM or one way of describing least common multiple or it is lowest common multiple is that LCM of two numbers, two or more numbers is the smallest of their common multiples. And to put it in another way, it is the smallest number for which both of these numbers are a factor. It means it is the smallest number for which both of the numbers are going to be a factor. It could be both or it could be more than the numbers. It is just the how many numbers we are considering. So I think it will be more clearer if we take an example. So let us just write down the uh, number 4. So let me change the... So we have this number 4. Okay. And uh, let us just write down the various multiples of the number 4. So what are the various multiples of the number 4 that uh, we have? So the multiples of 4 will be, uh, let's say we start with 4, right? The number itself then 4, 8, 12, right? 16, then we have 20, 24, 28, 32 and so on we can go on and as you know that we have just taken a few multiples the first few multiples of the number four let us take the second number mm, let us say we take the number six and now our goal is to find out the multiples of six so at the moment we are just writing down so we have six twelve eighteen twenty four thirty thirty six and so on it can go on in the this direction okay now what is the what are the common multiples for these so if you recollect that common multiples are those which occur for both the numbers so when we I take 4 and 6 and have a look at the numbers so the first common multiple is 12 in my case okay then we have 24 at the moment in this set of course you can have more but we have just taken the first two multiples so 12 and 24 now if we say that the uh, the common multiples common multiples the common multiples for 4 and 6 is 12 24 and then there could be more now if we see what is the lowest among these then we say that the lowest multiple is 12 so this is what we mean by a lowest common multiple this is how we understand the lowest common multiples. Now, <coughs> sorry. Now, uh, let us try to understand that uh, what is the meaning of this statement? It is the smallest number for which both of these numbers are a factor. It means that 12 is the smallest number for which both 4 and 6 are a factor. That is, both 4 and 6 are the factors of this number 12. That is what we mean by that. So uh, that was about the common multiple. Now let us try and find out a method for finding LCM. Now in the earlier uh, method what we did is we just wrote it and then uh, uh, we, we identify the common multiples and they see which one was least. So that is, there are, we will be actually learning two ways to find LCM. So this is the first method, I mean the first one which we learned earlier in the example was a very very basic method. This is a little bit more formal and a better method. So let's say that we have to find the uh, LCM of 12 and 18, right? So we have to do the prime factorization for both the numbers. So the way we do it is, if you remember this, is we start dividing this with 2. So we get 2, 6, uh, 12, then 2, 
times 3 is 6 and 3. So we continue this uh, division till we get a 1. So in this case the prime factors that we got are 2 by 2 by 3. Now let us find out the prime factors for the number 18. So we as usual we start with the number 2 then we have 2 times 9 is 18. Now 2 okay. Can we divide 9 by 2? No. So we need go to 3 and what is 3? 3 times 3 is 9 and then we need one more 3 so 3 times 1 is 3. So now let us write down the prime factors for the number 12. We The prime factors that we have are 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3. Whereas for the number 18, the factors, the prime factors that we have 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3. Now have a look at this. How do we find out uh, the LCM from this? So first we just did the prime factorization and found out the prime factors. When we write this prime factors, so the LCM of two numbers will be the product of prime factors counted maximum number of times. So you see what is, let's say we, as you can see that here we have just 2 and 3 as the prime factors in both the cases. So if I see 2, it occurs 2 times in 12, whereas only in 1 times in 2. So I will just take this combination of 2 here. Let me just change the color for better uh, this thing. I will take this combination of 2 by 2. So I am taking 2 multiplied by 2. And now 3 is occurring here once and 3 is occurring here 2 times. So let me write 3 multiplied by 3. Right. So the LCM of 2 numbers is the product of prime factors counted maximum number of times they occur in any of the numbers. Right. So this, so we have this counted 2 is like uh, occurring here 2 times and 3 is occurring here 2 times. So when we get this result, right, so what is this going to be equal to 4 multiplied by 9, which is equal to 36, right? So 36 is the LCM for 12 and 18. Now, if you remember, I told you that it, this is the smallest number for which both 12 and 18 will be factors. So you can see that for 36, both 12 and 18 are a factor. Right, 18 times multiplied by 2 is 36 and 12 times 3 or 12 multiplied by 3 is 36. So uh, that was method to find an LCM. So what? let me just summarize the method that we did. What we did is we just did a prime factorization for both the numbers. Then we wrote down the factors, the prime factors. Okay, And then what we just did is we just counted distinct numbers, the prime factors which occurred maximum number of times in any of the numbers and we just multiplied all of them. That is, so here we uh, took the product of 2 by 2 and 3 by 3. We just took a product and this is what we found out. So this was uh, another method to find LCM. Now I will give you even more simpler method to find the LCM. So in in the, in the earlier method, we, we of course, we have, will have to find the prime factors. But in earlier, this will be a little bit simpler one. In that, you can take the numbers together. So the example that we are going to take here is that we take three numbers, let's say 20, 25, and 30. Okay. And we have to find the LCM for that. So now, so this, these are the steps that I have written here, A, B, C, D, and E. So first step A, what we do is we divide by the least prime number that divides any of the given number. So we can see here 20 which is the smallest prime number that will divide these here. So you know that 2 is the smallest prime number and 2 multiplied by 10 is 20, 25 of course. Now what is happening here that 2 does not divide 25, right? So we write 25 as it is. Then we go to 30, yes 2 does divide 30 so we write 2 into 15 is 30. Now again we check right whether in this row is there any other number that can be divided by the smallest prime number. So again we know that 10 can still be divided by 2. So we write it 2, 5 is 10. Now we have 25 we cannot divide it by 2 so we write 25 as it is. Of course can we divide 15 by 2? No. So we write 15 as it is. So this is the step P that we have done. We divide it by 2, continue this till there are no multiples of 2. Then what we need to do is we divide by the next prime number. So what is the next prime number is 3. 
So of course you have to check whether 3 is dividing anything here but in this case we see that 15 can be divided by 3. So 5 remains as it is, 25 remains as it is and 3 multiplied by 5 is 15 so we do that. Now we see is there any other what will be the next prime number which divides any one of these. So it is straightforward we know that it is going to be 5. So 5 into 1 is 5, 5 multiplied by 5 is 25 and again 5 into 1 is this. So now we in this row can we find out any number that divides it? So 1, 1 and yes of course the 5 is here so we have to write 5 times 1. This 1 is as it is, this 1 is as it is, this 1 is as it is. So the key thing is we have to continue doing this till we see a 1 in all the columns. That's the key goal. So we start with the smallest prime number. So, so essentially let me just summarize it. You start dividing it by 2 and keep on dividing the columns by 2 till there is no number left. Then you see whether the next number, the, the next prime number which is 3, does it divide any of the number? If yes, then you keep on dividing it till it is not possible. Then you go for 5. Now it could also be possible that you, 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 do, you do not cannot divide any number by 2 then in that case you have to start looking from 3. So now what is the LCM in this case? It is simply the product of these. So the LCM in our case for this example is 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5. Right so which is like 2 multiplied by 2 is 4 multiplied by 25 multiplied by 3 so it's like 4 into 25 is 100 into 3 it is equal to 300 so as you can see that uh, 300 is the LCM for the these numbers so that was about a simple method to find an LCM so in the next session, we will discuss about practical applications for the HCF and LCM.